Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. Welcome, welcome. I was excited to see so many people on early. Hey, Katia and Tammy and Penny. How you all doing today? Thanks for joining me. We're going to be doing some envelopes today. And this is like more of a TV time type of activity, but I thought, why not? Why not come on and chit chat and do some mini envelopes? Because I've been meaning to do these for a while, just like all the rest of my projects, right? <laughs> I'm doing air quotes, you guys, just like all the rest of my projects. They're on the list to do, but I haven't done them yet. So for everybody that is new to the channel, um, our Project 20 is where we try to do 20 pieces of ephemera per day so that when we are building our journals, we'll have the ephemera that we need. Or even if you're just using a journal, the Project 20 is like perfect to have your ephemera on hand so you can just get your journaling done. You can get your junk journaling groove on. <laughs> So that's what the Project 20 is all about. So if you love, love, love junk journal stuff like we do, me and my junk journal buddies, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button. And before you leave, everybody go ahead and hit that thumbs up as well. And if you're coming on on the replay, just know that this is being recorded via a live chat. So I'll be chatting with my junk journal buddies as well. But you can leave a comment below and I can chat with you also. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Hey, Scrap Craftastic, how are you doing? And all right, so I got out my little uh, We Are Memory Keep Keepers envelope board. And this is the mini envelope board. I have the regular board as well. Here's the, the regular size board. You can see it's quite big, um, but I'm not gonna make any big um, big envelopes. I'm just making some small ones. This is like, you know, I hadn't really looked at it, but it's significantly bigger, right? <laughs> this isn't a review or anything, but I do quite enjoy these boards. So look at that. Look at the difference between those two. That's pretty cool. Hey, Chris, thanks for coming on, but we're gonna use the mini one. Let's see. Now, I'm just looking at the the sizes here to see. I know the sizes probably overlap just a little bit. So this one, they only overlap a little bit actually, because like the first size that they have on the big board is actually here. So I wouldn't be able to make envelopes with this board for like a ton of the mini one so I know that's probably confusing forget I said that <laughs> okay so I had a few ideas and I just did like a few things just so I can have a little thumbnail okay I tried to do an envelope with a comic strip and it was a complete fail because the comic strip, here's the paper right here. Here's the paper that I tried to use and it's just way too flimsy. But I had an idea that maybe we'll give a try to and that's to put this maybe onto, uh, probably not cardstock, but like regular paper or some heavyweight um, copier paper and then try to make an envelope out of it. That might work, I don't know. That's kind of, that's a, a true experimental thing right there. But I do know, I just glued the whole thing together. It just looked like a little square. It doesn't even look like an envelope. It was a complete fail. We get rid of that one. And I used some Atlas paper and I made like some really small envelopes. And that, that came out really nicely. I like the way those look. And um, I wanted to make just a whole bunch of these so that I can because when you have the little pieces they're great foundation to make some bigger pieces and then i was experimenting with this i made this with some coffee dyed paper and y'all my hands look wet but they're not they're just like kind of they're kind of greasy <laughs> let me wipe my hands off because i put some um i oiled up my hands before i came on yeah instead of lotion i use like y'all not gonna believe this but i use like coconut oil out of my kitchen 
well, it's not in my kitchen now, but I use the kind that you use in the kitchen, coconut oil, because my skin is super duper dry. And regular lotion just doesn't do the trick for me, but coconut oil does. Okay, anyway, this is not Health and Beauty channel. <laughs> so this is what the little teeny, I gotta hold it up because it's so small. This is what the little teeny envelope looks like. And let me see if I can see it here. Make sure it's focused on there. There we go. So you can see how small it is. And so that's the front of it, which is very plain. But the back here, I was just kind of, it took me a little bit to do this because it's so small. It's just hard to kind of finagle the little pieces. But that's actually a sequence right there. And then I put a hole in the top and I put like a little thread on there and you can actually close this up. So that's kind of cool. So that's definitely a TV time type of uh, ephemera because that took me a minute to do because it's just so small. If it was bigger, it wouldn't take so big long. And then this one is just like a regular envelope. I didn't really finish it. I was putting the size on the inside. And... I just put like a page flag on the front there. It's cool, Tammy, it's cool. And then I just made some different sizes. So these are some of the sizes that you can make with this mini hole punch. Get my focus back. Um, so it has like a variety of sizes, but I really wanted like the small ones. So what I'm going to try to do now is use some double-sided paper. I don't have a lot of double-sided paper and actually I cannot find my paper pad that I had this and I know this place is not that bad and I just could not find my paper so ridiculous so ridiculous so what are you all working on today me I was actually before I came on working on some financial stuff I was trying to figure out like some of the things that I sell is it worth it for me to sell I don't know so I put together this big old spreadsheet because I'm a spreadsheet kind of girl to try to figure out is it worth it for me to sell some things and my brain is fried so this is a pleasant reprieve from that okay so I want to make let's see which size do I want I think I want the second size that's on here which will make a card size of one times one by one and a half. Let's see, is that this one? I know it's taking me 10 years to get started, right? <laughs> Tammy's working on another journal. One and a quarter. That's like one and a quarter inches. I don't know how that got to be one and a quarter. That's like one and a quarter. Hold up. That bigger than this one I have to look I don't even know what I did earlier y'all okay but I think I want to go to this one is a uh, one and a half by two so I don't want that one okay I think I'm gonna try, yeah, let me do the second one. Okay, so then it's important to know which size you want so you can know how to cut your paper. So we're gonna cut this um, two into two and three eighths squares. And my paper cutter is actually not in eighths for the inches, but it's in sixteenths, so I know because from my public school education, I learned that I just need to double <laughs> the three eighths. So that's gonna be six sixteenths. And so it's gonna be two and six sixteenths should be what I need. So let's see, two, six. Hopefully I got that right. And this is double-sided paper. You can't stop being creative. Ooh, girl, me either. 
It's like once the creativeness starts flowing, it just keeps on going and going and going. So before I cut some more of this, let's just do a test. Let's do a test. Using the board makes everything uh, quite easy. So I want this to be my outside part and then this will be my inside part in this case. And we need, our score line is one and three eighths. So, let's see, one and three eighths. It's kind of hard to see at this angle, but she's giving it a go. Because I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing too. Let me see if I get closer, can you see better? Let's try that. Let's get the focus going right. Okay. So these are the numbers that I'm actually looking at here. So if you're looking on a big enough screen, you should be able to see um, what I'm doing here. And so I cut this, I'm using this second, where it's in green here, I'm using that second measurements there. So the paper size, it tells you the paper size needs to be two and, oh, actually that says two and, so, oh, this is the second one two and three eighths by two and three eighths. So that's what I cut this paper at. And then it tells you the score line should be one and three eighths right here. So hopefully you all can see that. So up here is one and three eighths. So you see where the measurements are on there. And you only have to measure this one time, one and three eighths. And also, you're, I know this because I did this earlier. If your paper is not flush against this little lip back here, it's gonna be crooked. So just keep that in mind. It comes with a little bone folder, yay. All right, so one and three eighths. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a punch. And this is kind of a heavy, heavier cardstock. So you wanna be careful if you're using like a thin piece of paper because you'll just go right through it with your bone folder. Now, you're going to take that little line that you did. Can you see the line there? You're just going to take it and line it up here. This is your guide now. So you don't have to measure again. And you still want to make sure the paper is flush or else it's going to be crooked. I know because I did it a few times and I'll probably do it again. I'm just going to go ahead and punch it because I always forget. Oops. And then kind of try not to press too much but give it a good a good uh score it's hard this brown paper is hard to see all right there it is all right make sure that's all the way in this slid on me Hey, Rita. What do you mean, start page? What do you mean? What does that mean? Sounds like somebody has to re uh, refresh their browser, maybe. If you guys can just type in the chat that she may need to refresh her browser. That's what I'm thinking. Something is stuck on her end. Okay. So now we have our little pieces here. And this is going to be our inside. So hopefully it's not too crooked. i got crooked issues. And, oh, let's do this. On this side is like the corner rounder. You can actually use this for... A corner rounder if you don't have one it makes good corners if you stick it in there correctly I know my hand is scary isn't it y'all this thing is hard to push though but your fingers if you have like finger issues and arthritis um, you really have to you probably should use like your whole hand or you hurt yourself okay so we've bent that in all right, ta-ta. There we go. <laughs> ta-ta. So we have our envelope. Nice, huh? So this is the front. 
and this is the back and I'm gonna leave it open so I'm not gonna fold this part down okay so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down now I'm gonna try to stay on the cami cam here because working with this little thing and I got the camera is like right in front of my face Try not to put too much glue on here. There's my top. All right, and then when I put this on, I always press outward in hopes that the glue doesn't go inside the envelope. Let's see, Let's see if we can get this stuck. Oops, out of, out of the area again. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna do some more of these. So that's a good size. This is the size that I wanted. So let's do some more of that. Oh, you had the same problem? Well, it's not me, you guys. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, so that's how we make those. Let's get this back up. Get our focus back. Okay, so that worked out. And that's what it looks like from a distance. Quite small, huh? All right, so we know this needs to be two and six sixteenths, right? We make sure, check twice, three, six, yes. Two, it's hard to see even, even with my glasses on. I probably can do one, more than one piece of paper at a time, but I'm just trying to, I don't want to mess up more than one sheet if I do something wrong. Since I don't know where my paper pad is. I can't believe I don't know where my paper pad is. Okay. Oh, it's YouTube. YouTube is acting janky. That doesn't surprise me. So I think everybody that has one of these boards, I put it in the description if you're interested in seeing more information about it on Amazon. So this is one and three eighths, one and three eighths. But if you guys want me to do a close up shot again, just let me know. I'm gonna try to be a bit more speedy Tell you dark colors are hard to see. They are hard to see. All right. So if I'm not chatting with y'all, that's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> that's because I'm concentrating. I know YouTube is making a lot of changes right now. It's still a wonderful place to be though. They're making some good changes, though, especially for creators on the back end. So and as a user, I found it it's pretty good, too, especially on mobile, because I think most people watch on their mobile. How do you all watch um, these live videos? Like what kind of devices are you using? Are you using like uh, pads or, or tablets, rather? Or are you using your telephone or are you like on a desktop computer? I would be interested to know that info. Because you know, the analytics tell you one thing, but as far as the users, it would be great to know what exactly you use. All right. My hand doesn't look so ginormous, so I'm not that close now. Ginormous and greasy for my coconut oil. <laughs> mobile. Okay, we got a mobile laptop I like watching on my laptop but my sound on my laptop is very it's very crappy so it doesn't really work for me Ugh. well it does it depends on the creator though how their sound is okay we got a PC that's awesome old school desktop 
I was looking at, um, oh, I was looking at Nick the Booksmith. She did like a craft room tour and she has like an old school desktop with one of the towers. I didn't even think they made those towers anymore, to be honest with you. But I keep forgetting. Um, I've been using a laptop for a while now. And I was using a PC for a while. Now I have a Mac. And I love my Mac. <laughs> Mobile, even though you're sitting in front of the laptop. <laughs> I don't, I actually do not, I don't go mobile hardly at all when I'm watching. Unless I'm like out and about, if I'm waiting in the car for somebody or something. Then I'll pull up some YouTube videos, but I don't even, I don't, I don't even come on live with my, with my, um, with my mobile device. It's a bit cumbersome for me. I guess that's a little bit old school type of thing too. I do very few things on my on my mobile device. Whatever I can do on my la on my um, desktop, I do. I'm on my desktop right now because it's just easier for me and I type fast. So, but when I'm on my when I'm on my uh, mobile device, forget it. It takes me ten years to type something. I watch the kids. All the young whippersnappers using their little two fingers, just getting it, getting it. Oh, you watch on your TV. <clears throat> I watch some on my TV. I have to get used to doing um, watching it on the TV, to be honest with you. It just seems weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird for me, but I do like watching it on the TV. But again, it's kind of cumbersome when it comes to navigation. <clears throat> but yeah, mobile is what most people are using now. All right, we got one more this size. See, you guys could be making some envelopes along with me <laughs> when you're cooking. You watch on the TV, also. I don't have. Well, I can take my laptop into the kitchen because. My, my TV, you can't see it from where um, I would be in the kitchen. <coughs> There's a big wall in between. All right, let me find my line here on this, on this darkness here. In the dark. I have something in mind for these envelopes, but I'm not going to tell you guys yet. I mean, you all, because you all not, are not guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I always say I'm going to stop saying that, but it's hard to break bad habits. Like saying guys. But I definitely am not going to call you a gal. I don't like that. Gal sounds, sounds a little condescending. We talked about that before, about the names they give women. Yeah, you just have to get used to stuff like uh, YouTube. If any of you are YouTube creators, you know, YouTube is has significantly changed the back end of YouTube where we have to load our videos up and do all other kinds of stuff. And man, that's, that's I'm getting used to it. I'm, I purposefully try not to switch back to the classic view so I can get used to it. But it's still kind of a pain in the tuchus. For sure. I keep forgetting this part. I keep forgetting to do my do my uh, corners. And I don't you don't have to do all four, but I always do all four. I think it works out better for me. It works out better. Yeah. I gotta get this place cleaned up. It's driving me crazy. Like I can't find um can't find my papers today before I came on and of course I waited to the last minute to do this. Alright, so this is the next pattern that I'm gonna use. This has some little birdies on it. I like it. So I'm gonna cut this down. I have to keep going back to this. Okay. Two and six. 
six sixteenths. Yep, I have something in mind. Oh, this paper is not straight. Something in mind for this. But I'm not ready to divulge it yet because I'm not I have to experiment first. Oh, um, I guess this paper is straight. It's just me. Alright, so let's see how this paper is going to look. I'm struggling to see this see my little measurements on here I feel so old today I don't think I did anything crafty today I don't know why all right I want to do some more, uh, some more stuff in my junk journal for sure, though. I had fun making that junk journal video. Was that video too fast for you all? The one I posted yesterday with um, me doing a junk journaling process video? Because it didn't seem that fast when I was editing it, but then when I posted it, it seemed like it was really... I know the beginning was fast. And the second part, I slowed down some, but... It still seemed like it was a little fast for me. But I don't know. Do you all like... I, I, I purposefully sped it up so you guys wouldn't have to watch it for 10 hours. Because it actually took me a little while to do, do those layouts. But how do you all like to watch your videos? Do you like it sped up? And if you're coming on the replay, I would love to know as well. Or do you watch it at regular speed? Let me know. Do you want to see all the little ins and outs or you want to just get straight to it? How many pages can I cut? At? Oh, I can, I can cut a lot more than what I'm cutting. <laughs> I think with uh, um, with this cardstock, it's a heavier, heavier weight cardstock. I probably can do about four sheets and it would be okay. It was fast for you. It was kind of fast for me too. That was a, a learning, a learning process thing. Let's see how this looks on this side. Oh, look at the little birdies. They're so cute. But my intention is to show it from this side. So you can see. So Penny says it was fast. I think it was a little fast as well. I agree with you on that one. took me a while to edit too that's one reason why I've been doing the the um, live streams as well is because the editing ugh, takes me forever I knew I couldn't come on at 6 because I had something else I had to take care of however I still wanted to put something up and I was doing going to work in my junk journal in the morning so I said let me just record it but then I had to edit and do a voiceover on it and do a little bit of cutting and splicing and yada, yada, yada. So Rita says she likes her videos at regular speed and then she can speed them up if she wants to. Well, you can slow them down too, <laughs> but my voice would probably be, it probably would sound kind of funny, but you can slow it down too. I haven't uh, listened to it. I don't think I've ever slowed down any videos, but... I usually watch them at fast speed myself. So I'm trying to do what I think I like other people to do instead of asking. Um, I have a Fiskars. My other Fiskars is smaller than this one. It's terrible. It does not cut straight at all. But this one is pretty good. But my other one, forget it. I want that paper cutter you have, Rachel. Quit playing, girl. Quit playing. Y'all should see her paper cutter. You got to watch her channel over at Scrap Craft Craftastic. That paper cutter. 
gives me life. <laughs> it's probably more than what I need, but that thing probably can cut like 50 pages at a time, huh? I love that thing. Even though I don't have it, I'm in love with your paper cutter. I forgot to do, forgot to do my little edges here. So today I'm not really doing anything special, just, we're just doing our envelopes for a future project so we can have some. I was trying to get some ideas on how exactly I wanted to like handle them afterwards and I got some ideas. It can cut 200 play pages. Girl, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Yeah, I probably don't need to cut 200 pages. <laughs> Hey, Rachel, if you don't mind me asking, does your daughter um, kind of work with you? Are you guys kind of in business together? Because I know, I think she does some of the social media stuff. I wish I had somebody to work with me on stuff. I, I work in, in my lonely cave all by myself. I could get so much stuff done if I had some help. I could be on all day with you all for one thing, <laughs> crafting. That is awesome. I got, I got, uh, I saw just a little bit of the paper cutter. I forgot which video it was. And I was like, oh my God, that's all I could, that's all I could see. I don't even know what the video was about. All I saw was that paper cutter and I wanted it. <laughs> oh, you do all of your own stuff? You can't get her to help you? What the? All right, so I'll spin that up. I'm gonna glue these in a minute. Let's see where we are on time. It's just little old you, ain't that something? It would just be, wouldn't it just be cool to like have somebody like in the same space as you? And you guys were just like crafting together. You'd be like, hey, pass me that cardstock over there. And they throw it to you. Here's the cardstock. <laughs> that would be cool. Did your dog have a happy walk? Got to take the dog out when it's ready to go get that you can't say nope I'm watching Liz you just wait there the dog will look at you like you're crazy and next thing you know it there's an accident <laughs> oh she has a full-time job hey I have um, my grandson here right now slim is here with me so I think I'm gonna have to put him to work I'm gonna start showing him how to do some stuff he, he can he's kind of young but as long as nobody tells the authorities, I might can work them pretty hard. I might can get some good work out of him. Do some child labor things. Make, make him uh, work for his food. Because, you know, kids in the summertime, they'll eat you out of house and home. Slim is not even a teenager yet. <laughs> oh, she's not interested? Oh, I'm surprised. I'm, just, I'm always surprised when... Um, Kids and teenagers are not interested in crafting. Because it just seems like that would just be like so much fun. I would have loved to do some stuff like this when I was younger. I didn't have anybody that did anything like this. Any crafting at all. Well, I can't say that. My grandmother was a uh, knitter. She could knit you things like nobody's business. And I remember, I remember back as far as kindergarten, you all. And my grandmother, um, she made us, because we would take naps on the floor, so you had to bring, like, a blanket or, like, a rug in. Girl, my grandmother made us rugs to go on the floor to sleep on. And also in the wintertime, because I lived where it snowed at, she would make us mittens and scarves. And she would make, 
she would make like a string that went from one mitten and it goes through it comes out on the other side to the other mitten so you would put that through like the arms and then you wouldn't lose your mittens so she would make us mittens like that and, and of course a matching hat my grandmother she could make a of course vest and all kinds of stuff she was like fan a fantastic knitter I, actually I think she liked to crochet more than she knitted but I think she did both so you know we still have like blankets and stuff that my grandmother made so that was her craft of choice I don't know if she did anything else or not but you know that was a back in the day grandma that take you to church on Sunday I remember I was part of the um what you call it um candy stripers because my grandmother was a nurse in the church so me and my cousin we were candy stripers <laughs> he knocked over your he knocked over your clean laundry he was ready to go <laughs> Oh, I remember you telling me about your younger son, that he was kind of interested. Them damn video games. Did the takeover. That's just not right. Well, Slim doesn't have any video games, but he watches a lot of YouTube videos. But I think he might like doing the craft stuff. I'm going to get him some crafty things, even if it's just like some watercolors coloring books and stuff like that and just let him go for what he knows it, it's not like I don't have a lot of supplies so ooh wouldn't that be cool a paper cruise but then all the money that I would want, want to spend on the cruise I want, would want to spend on my paper crafting stuff <laughs> although I do love cruises I have to say Tammy cruises are awesome I always tell people if you've never been on a cruise, if once you go on one, you're gonna be hooked. Cruises are awesome. I've only been on two, but they were fantastic. Fantastic. And when I was on the cru on one of the cruises, they had to do like a medevac of someone. I actually have all this um pick these pictures of when they, they, like they brought in a helicopter and they cleared like part of the deck. They brought in a helicopter and they dropped the basket for whoever it was. I don't know what was wrong with the person. And I guess they took some of their family as well. So it took them like literally like two hours to drop the basket like you would see on TV. It was like a rescue because we were out at sea. And they dropped the basket and they got the patient and then they, I think they dropped it again. I don't know if it was the medic that they brought up or if they brought up a family member and then they left. But I'm pretty sure it cost that person some money. Unless they had like some medical insurance to cover a helicopter ride. I thought I would just tell y'all that short, short, quick story. <laughs> That's un uncrafting related. Scraps of color and may 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 made it Google them. I think I might do that. I don't know if I can go on a cruise, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it and see because that's kind of cool. Tammy, you never wanted to go. I mean, I know there's some people that are just not interested in cruises, but I'm telling you, it's a fantastic vacation because. You don't never have to get off the boat if you don't want to. But if you do, while you're sleeping, they're gonna drive you to your next destination and you just get off, go see. I'm a sightseer too, so I like stuff like that. Oh, they like to play in the craft room. Maybe I should just let Slim come and, come and see what piques his interest. Hey, Libby's. Oh, that's cool. Cause you don't want to have to take everything with you, I guess. If you're going on a crafting cruise, it would be good for them to have things already there for you to do. I 
don't know if I would want to do that on a cruise though. See, because I'm like a sightseer. I think I would want to just craft when I'm at home. So I don't know if I would enjoy that or not. <laughs> One, two, can't afford it. I know they're expensive. You have to save for them. You have to save for them cruises. Like, you know, I stay down in here in the Orlando area and everybody thinks that we go to Disney all the time. And I have to cor correct them very quickly. Uh, do you know how much Walt Disney World costs? And the prices are just going up and up and up. So the answer is no. Uh, you know, people save all their lives to go to Disney. So just keep that in mind when you ask them that question. <laughs> It's expensive. Girl, you deserve a break, Libby. You deserve a break. You can hang out with us for a few minutes. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do, too, and I probably shouldn't do lives every day, but you know what? This is like my friend break because I work by myself. And most of the time, I'm here all by myself all day long, all week long, unless I have to go out and do some stuff. So, I think it's a good um, a good break. Okay, I'm going to cut like two sheets this time. Let me see where we are on time. Oh, we still got some time. Alright, so I'm going to take these two. And... Cut these, hopefully straight. Two. This doesn't look. This paper doesn't look straight. Maybe the last time I cut this, I didn't cut it straight. I have some jacked up envelopes. Thank you, Penny, because I like coming on every day. <laughs> That's right. Work will be there later. It's not going anywhere, is it? It's certainly not. Am I doing this right? I think so. All right, let's see. I'm glad you guys take the time out to take a break with me. That brings a tear to my bad eye. <laughs> Makes me want to cry. Yeah, I was watching, um, what's the name of that? So You Think You Can Dance? I've been kind of watching that lately. And sometimes, you know, everybody has like a sad story on there. Sometimes they be making me cry. It always makes me cry when I see a man crying. I'm such a wuss that way. And I'm not really a crybaby. Yes, my bad eye lilies. <laughs> That's special when you make the bad eye cry. That's some special stuff. Alright, so. Now. One and three eighths. You know what, I'm gonna move this out the way momentarily. Because my arm's in a, a functified position. Yeah, sometimes you gotta schedule a me time or you won't get any. One and three eighths. This is much better. Been trying to do this on that on my paper cutter. I can kind of actually see what I'm doing. It was a little high. I'm concentrating, y'all. I'm concentrating. Okay. 
this? She's concentrating. All right. And I'll just put those over to the side. I'm going into assembly line mode now. I didn't see the handmaiden's tail. I need to watch it. I need to, because I'm a little bit behind, so I got to get caught up. That show is something else, ain't it? Uh-oh. I, I need to get my box of tissue out, huh? <laughs> That's a fantastic show. It's gut wrenching, but it's fantastic. And you can start watching it, Kathleen. Oh, not Kathleen, but Tammy. <laughs> hi, uh, hi, Kathleen. Uh, you can start watching it, Tammy, because uh, if you haven't watched any of the other episodes, then you have a little bit of a ways to catch up. I have to kind of watch it kind of in spurts instead of like, that's one that I, I don't really binge on. I don't know why. I think because it's just kind of emotional. It's a little bit of emotional and I just need like an emotional break after a few episodes. Plus, I always think that that kind of stuff can happen for real in this day and age with the way things are. Oh, you gotta wait until the weekend to do your binging. Go ahead with your bands up, girl. I would binge while I'm working, but then I wouldn't get any work done. I found that uh, watching TV shows while I'm working is a bit distracting because I'll stop and start watching. Or else I'll be working and I'll miss a lot of stuff and then I have to replay it anyway. But I do like Ben. I'm a binger for sure. It is on Hulu. I think it's a Hulu original program. It's not on Netflix. Not on Netflix, but I won't be surprised if Netflix starts playing um, Hulu stuff. She's concentrating again. Hopefully, it looks like it might come out crooked. I don't know. It makes you want to move to Canada. <laughs> if you watch it, then you know the meaning of Canada. Yep. I agree. I think I would like to read the book, though, because I'm sure it gives you, like, some more details on, like, how things kind of went sideways on that. Wait a minute, something. Oh, I know what it is. I forgot to punch. I'm lifting it up because I'm just trying to see because this, um, the pattern on this paper is like really dark. So it's easier for me to see and keep it on the cami cam if I lift it up. So y'all can see why this is like a TV time activity. There's not much to it. Of course, there's no sewing involved. Y'all know I could make it a sewing, uh, a sewing activity, but I'm not. <laughs> if I can make anything a sewing activity, All right? Then we'll do these this way. Ooh. 
Livy, it is not a far stretch. And I'm telling you, when I first, the, from the first episode, that's the first thing I thought. I said, this could happen. Because women are still not treated fairly these days. I said, that could definitely happen. Where men have like all the power. They got too much power now. They start doing some crazy stuff. And the bad thing is, just like on the TV show, there's going to be some women that go for that stuff. They'll go along with it. With that oppression. That's terrible. It make, makes me, like, my stomach is butterflies just thinking about it. It is terrible. All right, I'm going to do a couple more of these and do the corners, and then I don't think I have 20, but might be close. If I wasn't uh, trying to be nosy and follow the chat, I might have had 20. <laughs> Maybe not, though, because... This is not that, uh, I wouldn't say it's not easy, but you still have to concentrate or else your stuff is going to come out all wonky. We don't want no wonky envelopes. We want them to be nice and pretty. I've got plans for these envelopes. Yeah, it scares me too. Like everything about the future is kind of scary. Because, I mean, some things have changed for the better, but some things, they, some things have just gone off the rails already. So, and climate change is just a little bit of that piece. The way people dress, and I'm not, not an old bogey or anything, but holy cow, the way people dress. The way people talk to uh, older people, I could never talk to anybody without saying yes, ma'am, or yes, sir. I would have got my teeth slapped in. Kids don't even think about that. They try to talk to you like you're an adult. Again, I would get my teeth slapped in if I tried to enter into a conversa an adult conversation. <laughs> but not these days. And I will say, I did, I, I won't say I got beat, but I did get whoopings too. And I didn't die. I'm okay. I won't say it made me a better person, but you know. <laughs> I, it probably made me more respectable to people. I came from the whooping era. But we probably deserved it. Me and my brothers. We was we were some baby kids sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But like I said, we we ain't die we didn't die from our whoopings. And I still love my parents. I don't blame them for anything. That's another thing that young people do these days. They want to blame everything on their parents. No. It's not your parents' fault. It's your fault you're making bad decisions. I sound like an old person now, don't I? Because that's the way the world is going these days. All right, so now let us go through and... Do these conas. You know what? I wonder. Hold up. Ugh. Corner rounder, where are you? Let me see. This will be a test. I don't know if this is going to be the right size corner or not. 
it might be a little bigger should be okay so I think it'll be easier for me to round the corners this way yeah instead of the corner round on here is good but I just feel like it's kind of tight Yep, we were reminded of where our place was. Oh, show. And usually that was outside playing while the adults was inside or on the porch or whatever. Now I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to round all these corners at one time. Let's see. I right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm probably going a little bit overboard, but let's see if my corner our corner chomper can handle that. That would save me a ton of time. Oh, child, look at that. I don't know. It don't look that great, though. <laughs> I don't think I had it in there good. Okay. Let's try this one. Make sure we got it in there good this time. I think these are a little uneven. Let's split these up. I'm about to mess something up. I'm trying to be extra here. Two is enough. And this way it won't take me all day. <laughs> Baby kids. Yes, I do. <laughs> You have to get the right one. <laughs> Y'all, I'm going to tell you, I never got it with a switch. However, my mom had this belt. It didn't even have the belt buckle on it. It was a belt, and she kept it on the, on the kitchen, in the kitchen, on the back of one of the chairs, and it better not disappear. That was the whooping belt. So, we didn't have to go out and get the switch because the belt was already there. I know that sounds horrible to some people, but we didn't die. And of course, my children didn't go through the whooping era like we did. They only got it a little bit. But I definitely remember those days. All right, so this one. Now we're going to do the folding part of this in our little assembly line here. This time I tried to use like both sides of the paper. <laughs> Flip flops. <laughs> wow, your mother was working two or three jobs at a time. So it wasn't anybody to beat you. <laughs> That's too funny. My mom and dad didn't work two jobs, but they worked a lot. Y'all, I remember one time, one summer, you know, you ain't supposed to have anybody in your house while your parents is out working. I hope my mom never sees this video. <laughs> You're not supposed to have anybody in the house. We had a water balloon fight in the house. All the neighborhood kids was there. And then we had the bright idea to use the vacuum cleaner to get the water up, a regular vacuum cleaner. And we did a pretty good job and the vacuum cleaner actually didn't die. And when my mom got home, we had everything all cleaned up and everything. And I remember we were all sitting there looking, you know, me and my brothers were looking at each other like, I hope she doesn't find out. And I remember she like stepped up because it was carpet on there on the floor. She stepped on the carpet. She said, this carpet feels a little wet. And my brother was like, oh, I spilled a glass of water. And she didn't say nothing else. Because <laughs> we were some baby kids. These squares are 
they are um, two and three eighths by two and three eighths. Oh, your dad used a belt and your mom used her hand and your grandma used the switch. <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. You know what? Like my dad, he never, my dad never whooped me. Um, but he got my brothers though. I still, I saw my dad, like Jack, when my brother's up, he had him like off his feet up against the wall. I forgot what he did. He did something criminal. Anyway, so my dad never, my dad never whooped me. My mom did. And she, she used the belt. And then I had an aunt. And the one I was telling you guys about, she was born in 1902. She used Hot Wheels tracks. And I didn't think anybody else in this world got a whooping with Hot Wheels tracks. And I talk, actually talked to other people that got, got whoopings with the orange Hot Wheels tracks. <laughs> All right. And I answered your question. I'm looking through the chat now. I'm trying to look while I'm doing this. Tammy, that's hilarious. Burn the burn the belt. Yeah. Kids these days. They just don't know. They just don't know. This is a, a generation of entitlement. They think they're entitled to things too. They haven't even got beat down like we did. Wrong with them. You didn't know what life was like unless you played outside and came in the house and got the beat down. Or the neighbors told on you. Boy, my neighbors was good for telling stuff. I couldn't even look at a boy. Neighbors would tell my parents. Your daughter's so fast. I saw her down the street talking to some boy. Damn neighbors. <laughs> Ooh, somebody else got it with the Hot Wheels tracks. Mm -mm -mm. See, I think that was like a, a best kept secret because I didn't think anybody knew about the Hot Wheels tracks. And then once I started mentioning it to other people, they said, oh, yeah, we got it with the Hot Wheels tracks, too. Doggone toy company. They don't know what they was creating. <laughs> Your mother used whatever was nearby. <laughs> she was a, soft, a softball pitcher. <laughs> That is hilarious. The whole house was lost, but they didn't get any more whoopings. <laughs> if you're coming on the replay, you gotta gotta read the chat today. It's super funny. You guys are hilarious. Yeah, I wish I could have told them neighbors to mind their business. That would have been another whooping right there. Go ahead, try that one if you want to. The neighbors might give you a whooping. You'd be treading on thin ice then. <laughs> oh, the plastic baseball bats. Those things sting, don't they? <laughs> you get hit with one of those. I, you know, I hope they don't um, make those tracks anymore. But guess what? You where you probably can get them at though. You can, I'm sure you can get them on eBay. You can get anything on eBay. eBay is the joint for vintage. Those are vintage. Those Hot Wheels tracks. Orange Hot Wheels tracks. Don't let me look that up.
Yeah, thank goodness we could think about it. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Got two more of these to glue. And of course I'm using my Aileen's Techie Glue. I was gonna use like a wet glue on this, but um, wet glue is so loose and I didn't want it to like go back into the into the envelope. So I'm trying to be careful not to glue the envelope shut. Although some of these may not have anything in it, in the inside. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job of a knot. Oops, that was coming apart. Gotta hold it a little longer. I think I have some more that didn't stick. But that's okay. I'll get them to stick. You guys are gonna stick. Got this one more here. I didn't even think my town was little and everybody even even today everybody knows everybody it's so ridiculous when I go home people will be yelling at me down the street they be like oh you remember me y'all my memory is so bad I don't remember anybody I'm like nope and they tell me I was on the track team and I did this and they tell me everything that I did and I'm like I sorry I don't remember nothing I feel kind of bad. I don't think, I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> I don't remember names or anything. Maybe I tried to black that time out when I was in school. Oh, the yellow micro machine tracks. I haven't heard about those. <laughs> That's how my kids were too, Libby. You know, I you know I remember those times and stuff, but they don't have to come back. They probably were overkill. Whoopings. All right, let's see how many we have here. We did quite a few while we were chatting. One, two. You can go to that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then I did a few off camera, but I don't really like these that much, to be honest with you. They're so plain. But I'm sure I have 20. Um, so this was like a really teeny tiny one that I made, but I kind of like this size better. This is the next size up, I think. Yeah. This one was a 2 by 2 piece. And so it ends up being 1 by 1. So oh, that's cool. I like that size. Like I said, I have some ideas for this. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> that's when you always remember when you're doing something wrong. Remember, I got a whooping for that. <laughs> okay, you all. I am finished with my envelopes for today. So once they get good and dry and stuff, I have to think of what I want to do with these. Y'all know, of course, paperclip comes to mind. But I have some other ideas as well for these and I'm gonna make some more uh, eventually probably with you all <laughs> all right so I am going to head off I want to thank everybody that came on with me all those lurkers because we love our lurkers as well um, this is a we are a memory keepers mini envelope punch board so they have two punch boards one is the full one what did I do with it I'll show you again and they come with the uh, all the we are memory keepers usually come with their tools here it is oh yeah. right here that's the big one so we're using the small one for this job and then this is the big one where you can do even bigger envelopes so this we are memory keepers there is a link in the description so if you want to go check it out then you can check it out thank you Chris for putting that in and I love this punch board. Um, Y'all, I'm such, I am such a gadget whore. <laughs> I hope, I hope my video don't get taken down for saying that. <laughs> I'm such a gadget, you know what? I love my gadgets. Oh, you were sewing, Katia? Right on. See, it's, this is a creative channel. It's so your creative mind can soar. So I love being around other creative people. It's like a creative crop. Y'all know I had to, I tried to figure out what crop means. I still ain't figured it out. Do y'all know what crop means? I have to stay on for at least 30 seconds since I asked that question. 
because I don't know what crop means. But it's like being on a crafting crop, a virtual one. That would be kind of cool to be on a virtual crop, but everybody would need to be on. And I think I heard that Google Hangouts is going away. So I don't know. I don't know if, if Google Hangouts is going away or not. I don't even feel like cleaning my desk off. I feel so lazy today. I just want to like just lay down and do nothing. So I'm glad I came on with y'all because I probably wouldn't have did this much. See, I, I, I am so productive when I'm on live. Because otherwise, sometimes I wouldn't get anything done. So that's the important part. I, I tried to figure out if it was short for something and I couldn't figure it out. I just know maybe it's like a crafting opportunity. That's the only thing I could think of that, that a crop is a crafting opportunity. Crowd retreat organizing paper. <laughs> That's funny. But we could use that though, huh? For us paper crafters. A crowd, crowd retreat organizing papers. <laughs> Or a crafting opportunity. I, I like the crafting opportunity. But I don't know if that's what it means or not. I'm stalling now. I'm trying to see if you guys know. I even tried to Google it. And I just got the definition of crop. Craft room of people. Is that really what it means, Rachel? Craft room of people? So we got crowd retreat organizing paper. We got crafting opportunity. And then we got craft room of people. That might be what it is. Craft room of people. And I wonder who made that up. Who made that up? Crop. But you know the people in the crafting world, they know what it is. Unless you just came in. <laughs> Oh, that's not what it is? Darn. What's wrong with you people? So that's your homework. You have to go out and try to figure out what crop is. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> you just guessed. <laughs> I just guessed too with crafting opportunity. Creating really organized projects. <laughs> we could just go on and on forever. So we got quite a few. I'm going to have to write these down. I'm going to put these in my junk journal. So I'm going to go back through the chat and I'm going to write these down and I'm going to put these and put this in my junk journal. I like that because I want to do put more lists in my junk journal of things that I enjoy. So I enjoyed this conversation. So I want to I want to document it. So I'll probably just take a piece of paper and write it down right now. Roberta says she's on it. You're on a homework mission. <laughs> okay, you all. I am going to go ahead and shove off. Because I'm just like really like fried for today. And then I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Thanks everybody again for coming on. I had like a really good laugh. I'm so happy that I can like be on with y'all because y'all have common interests and you have common past as well, especially with the Hot Wheels tracks. You don't know what that means to me. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life. <laughs>